Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to identify the genus Bidens in Mississippi. And specifically, we're going to look at the show year species. We're going to look at Bidens alba, Aristosa, Midis, Livis, Bipineta, Cornua, and Polypus. We're going to leave Frondosa, Discoidea, and Camosa out of this, as well as Vulgaris, which looks like these three less showy ones, and it's just rare. It's not even been observed on iNaturalist in Mississippi yet. We're, we're going to go over how to identify these, both by looking at photos of the plants and by using Weekly's Flora of the Southeastern United States online. And this is a great guide. They're starting to add pictures to it. Even without the pictures, it's wonderful. And we're going to dive right in. Talking about the genus to begin with, there are, are almost 250 species worldwide of Bidens in Mississippi. We only have around 10 that are really common enough to uh, need to be aware of for someone who's interested in identifying plants. Now, when it comes to identifying Bidens, there are um, two, two of the easiest ways to tell them apart from other um, members of their family, Asteraceae, are these seeds, which are characteristically long with these little prongs at the end. There can be two, there can be three or four, depending on the species. And... Um, the other thing is this Caliculus, which is these things. And this particular species, Vitamidus, they are kind of yellow with these red spots. But that seems to be unique to this species, at least from what I've seen. So most members of the Asteraceae family do have these green things subtending or underneath the flower petals. And in Vitamidus, they have this additional layer, and that's an easy way to recognize them. So if we want to identify a given plant that we have, um, first we'll, we'll go over here, go to observations, and let's click on a plant, one of these Biden species. And we have the information that's contained in this photo and we want to identify it. So we're going to go over to Weekly's Flora and show well, I click showing keys. I'm going to do key to Bidens. Um, and now we're going to run through here. Is the plant aquatic with leaves finely divided into segments less than 0.5 millimeters wide? No, these have broad leaves and it doesn't look like it's in the water. You can zoom in and see it does not look like it's in the water. So instead of going to that, we're going to go to the next couplet. This is how to use a dichotomous key. Um, the leaf segment's greater, so, so we, we can go ahead and just move on to number two. Are the inner clypseas, clyp, clyp, cypsillas, I don't know how to pronounce that, more or less equally four angled, thickest near the middle, and equally tapered to both ends? What is this? That's an, a thing that we can go to Google, type it in, and see what it is. It's another word for seed, basically, or fruit. So in the case of Bidens, uh, we'll go over here and go back to the genus. The Cypsella is this thing. If we get on here, it's this thing. So coming back to this photo, can we see that thing? We cannot. So we're going to go back to the key and go to the next part of the couplet. Are the ray florets white, pink, or palish yellow, or absent? Yes, these are white. Now let's go ahead and examine this, the other option. Ray tips, or ray florets yellow or orange. So these are white, they're not yellow or orange, the, the petals. So that means it is somewhere in here. Now we move on to number three. Are the leaves dissected two to three times with the primary lobes more than 20? With the ray florets pelt, Pale yellowish. The, so the ray florets, the ray florets are the petals. That's the easiest character characteristic to use. This is not yellow. This is white. So we can move on to this. Um, ray florets five to eight. So that means petals five to eight. And then versus petals zero, or if they're present, very small. So that would lead us toward this, because this has more than zero petals. 
Um, and that is Biden's alba bar radiata. And this is the easiest one to identify. Actually, it's much easier than what I made it out to be in Mississippi. If it has white petals and it's a Biden's, you've already identified it through some other way to that to genus, um, then it is this one. And we can actually, here, here's a way that you can tell that these are the seeds that, and Biden's alba will often have seeds and flowers on the same plant. And so they can be pretty easy to identify that way. Now let's move on to a different one. Let's look at this. This is Biden's mitis, apparently. Now you can see I identified this, and I'm not 100% certain. So let's look more closely. What character characteristics do we see? We see it does not have white petals. And we see a little bit of the leaves. We don't really see the, um, the seeds. So this might be difficult to identify. Let's walk through this, this key. So we know that it's not aquatic. Its petals are not white or pale yellow or absent. So it, we must be here. So we get on to five. Are most leaves simple versus, if we go over to five, most leaves either one pinnately compound or two pinnately compound, or two pinnately lobed. So what does that mean? Simple leaves are leaves that are like, open this up, that are like this. So you see each leaf looks like just a single leaf. Whereas, if we have a compound leaf, I'll come over here with Biden's interstosa, and we see each leaf looks like it's divided into multiple leaves. Those are called leaflets. Okay, let me get back to where I was. So in trying to identify this plant, here's the tough question. Are these leaves simple or compound or pinnate? And the answer is, can't really tell all that well, can you? This right here, this could be a simple leaf, or this little, little right thing right here could be part of a compound leaf. So, when the keys themselves are confusing to you, one of the easiest things for me to do at least, is to go through our species. So actually, I'll, here's what I'll do first. I will duplicate that, and then I'm gonna come back here. Oops, going, went too far back. So for this plant, which of these photos looks the most similar? It's Biden's Aristosa, Biden's Mitis, Biden's, maybe Biden's Canura, Biden's poly, Polylepis, and Biden's Lavis. So let's open up each of these in different tabs, and let's try to compare it. So remember, we're trying to figure out what this thing is. So first we have Biden's Aristosa. This does look pretty similar. We see some things in common. Like we see these flowers that are yellow and get slightly oranger towards the center. Yellow, slightly oranger towards the center. And we have these leaves that they look like they could either be simple or compound until you look really closely and you see you've got these little leaflets jutting off the edges. And you also notice that the leaves are kind of, um, the, the margins aren't smooth, they're rugged. Okay, so it, this could be Biden's Aristosa. Now let's look at another option. This is Biden's Mitis. Um, can look at this. You can see it also has these types of leaves. Where if you if this was not in focus, you might have a hard time telling whether these are simple or compound. And in fact, it does look like it has some simple leaves on it. 
Now it does not look like it has that rugged edge to the leaves. They look pretty smooth. So that, that's a possibility. Then we have Biden's Carnua. This looks pretty different. You see the leaves are thick. You can also see that it's, it's rare and the petals are pretty short and they don't seem to have that thing where they're orange at the center and yellow at the edges. We can look at a map and see where is this found. This is, looks like it's basically only found in the Delta in Mississippi. If we look at this one, this was on the coast. So Biden's Carnua does not seem to be very likely. Now we have Biden's Polylepis. And if you know very much about, um, well, you, you might be here because you don't know very much about this, but this particular species is controversial. Some people think that it's just a form of Biden's Aristosa that we already looked at. And it's pretty rare in Mississippi. The way allegedly that you can tell it apart from um, Biden's Aristosa is by these bracts being kind of twisted and long and numerous and hairy at the edges. That's essentially the only difference between that and Biden's Aristosa. We can't see the bracts here, which actually, in my opinion, is good evidence that this is not um, Biden's Polylepis. Okay, so that leaves us, we're stuck between Biden's Aristosa and Biden's Mitis. Um, so now we can look at some things like the range map. Biden's Mitis in Mississippi is essentially a coastal species. Now, Biden's Aristosa in Mississippi is essentially a more a northern species. It does occur on the coast, but it seems much less common. And so between all of that and also the fact that Typically, in Biden's Aristosa, it does have these longer bracts that you can, you can't necessarily see them head on from the flower, but you would expect to be able to see them right here. So I do think that this is Biden's mitis by going through that process. Now, I hope that that was helpful, even though we didn't go through the entire key. Key is, is long and includes a lot of species that don't actually occur in Mississippi, like this does not occur in Mississippi. Um, and if you want an easier key, then you can go to um, look up Weekly's Flora of the South of the United States. You can click that link. And let's see where it has. Floras and Field Guides. This is the page we're already on. And you can go to Flora Request, Request Flora of the Southeast United States. And this, if you put in your name, your email, and some basic information, you can get for free the flora of the Southeast United States. You can also get uh, the flora of um, Mississippi specifically. So you could click that and come down here. You can't type in it, type in it, but you can come and choose Mississippi. And that will filter out the Biden species that are not native to Mississippi so that you can um, have an easier time with the keys. But I hope that this has helped you figure out more about the Bidens of the state and how to identify them. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you.